Hola, it's me, Erika. Yo estoy en la lavandaria. Normalmente es un lugar buena, uh, práctica, español, pero no hoy porque no, no hay muchas personas. Uh, porque el tiempo de día. Uh, so, anyway. What I want to talk to you guys about today was uh, a YouTube channel by or title called Q Paul, and in that he teaches sp Spanish lessons. And I've been wanting to check it out for a while. I came across him many months ago um, when I was looking to learn a particular skill in Spanish. I, I don't even remember what it was. I just remember that I watched one of his videos. It was helpful, and I liked him because he spoke clearly. He spoke slowly. I, I wouldn't even say slow. He had a good pace. And he was very thorough and his, le and his lessons were quick and to the point. And so ever since then, I have put a bunch of his videos in my watch later list, but I never got to them. However, today, I mean not today, but this past week, I took the time to binge watch um, his, like, um, his videos, lessons, he, calls, he goes by lessons, and I did his first 34 lessons, lessons one through 34. They were primarily um, reviews for me, um, but some of them I actually really needed re um, help, not help, but it was good for me to review because I get, for us, it was indirect pronouns because I get it in theory, but I still don't necessarily form my sentences that way. So consequently, I could use a lot more practice in that. Um, also subjunctive because I just started learning that maybe a week ago and I took a partial lesson, lesson on it and my teacher told me, okay, we're not done, but I have not hooked up with that particular teacher again to further learn or practice the subjunctive. So even having listened going over his his few classes on the subjunctive was very helpful to keep it in my brain so that when I do hook back up with that teacher, it's not like I totally forgot everything. Um, I don't know how it would be for a person who has no um, history with Spanish, but if that's you and you check them out, let me know. Um, but I do recommend this channel. And let me go over the notes that I wrote about it to see if I missed anything. Um, so yeah, I recommend this channel. Um, his lessons are short and to the point. What I did for practice on some of them was I would listen to the lesson and then I would create my own sentences. Like I would do the, the exercises that he stated. So I would pause the video, do what he said. Um, and luckily I got everything right, which I was very proud of myself. It did take me a minute sometimes, which lets me know that I just need some more practice because I know this stuff. It just doesn't come to me as fast as I would like. Um, so then I would practice my own sentences and I do plan to hook up with a teacher and send them my question. I mean, the sentences and sentences that I've that I wrote from his videos to make sure that everything is done correctly. Um, and that's it. I highly recommend this channel. Check it out. Tell me what you think. And that's it for this week. Oh, and I do plan to watch more of his videos. So I might end up watching a lot more than maybe I might do a follow up for the rest of his videos. But I know lessons 1 through, 30, 1 through 34 were a good review.